Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is T. Today's video is going to be my 2017 beauty favorites. Let's talk about what really worked for me this year and some of my favorite products that I use every single day. Let's just jump right into it. Just a little warning in the video that there is a, if you can't see it, there is a blizzard going on. I live in New York and today's one of the worst storms we've had so far. So, and it's really windy. So if you hear a lot of wind and stuff, that's what it is guys. Just letting you know jump right into it with skincare and the two cleansers that I use are these two the St. Ives green tea blackhead clearing scrub and the Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel um, this one is more my everyday cleanser it's softer it's something that I can use morning and night while the St. Ives blackhead clearing green tea scrub is more of an exfoliator so you should be only using something like this only two to three times a week it's really gentle it helps unclog pores get rid of all that dirt and just get rid of dead skin cells and helps rejuvenate the skin when it's not feeling that great. Is Drunken Elephant. Their products look like this. Um, the two that I can't live without are the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is life changing. I had acne and I still have acne scars from it, so this really helps diminish the appearance of them and helps get rid of some of the dark spots I have. And then I have the C Firma Day Serum. This is what this looks like. Um, this is the actual size. This <clears throat> this is the actual size of the product. This is more of like a tester. This came out in they come in this kind of duo that came around Christmas time. This is more of a vitamin C serum. It really helps again with helping me diminish the size of my acne scarring and getting rid of some of that pigmentation. That's um, this is life changing. I had acne and I still have acne scars from it, so this really helps diminish the appearance of them and helps get rid of some of the dark spots I have. And then I have the C Firma Day Serum. This is what this looks like. This is the actual size of the product. This is more of like a tester. This came out in, they come in this kind of duo that came around Christmas time. This is more of a vitamin C serum. It really helps, again, with helping me diminish the size of my acne scarring and getting rid of some of that pigmentation that's left over. The moisturizer that I'm obsessed with right now is the Sunday Riley CEO C&E Protect Repair Moisturizer. It looks like this. This is a smaller size of it. There, I think there is like a bigger size of this. It's great. It helps again with diminishing my dark spots. It's nice, it's thick, but not too thick that when you, you can put makeup on after because it's not too heavy. Um, it has a really nice smell. It smells like, like kind of like oranges. And I'm really, really liking this, but my everyday lotion that I go for like all the time is the Cerve Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. This is was recommended by my dermatologist. It has no fragrance in it, nothing to irritate the skin and gives you just some quick moisture. It's not too thick either. You're able to put on makeup after it. So I do love this. I put this under my eyes because you're not supposed to put this under your eyes. So I think this help my skin look radiant and that's what I look for maybe in a primer. Um, I don't really like the silicone primers at all. If you have any suggestions on primers, leave them down below. Moving on straight into foundation. I know these aren't new, but these were my standouts in 2017 and I do use them all the time. It is these two. This, These two are the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, pretty well known foundations. They are great. They last all day long. They give a beautiful finish. Not too matte, not too dewy. They last literally all day. The color selection is great. The two colors I use are 2N1 Desert Beige, which is the lighter one, and 3W1 Tawny for when I'm a little bit darker. Then I use the L'Oreal True Match. Um, the color I use is Natural Beige W4. This one's a great alternative if you can't afford to go get the Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's a way cheaper price tag. They have the same coverage. Both of them are fuller coverage because that's what I like to wear. Um, this also has a great color selection. They don't. Moving on to concealers. Obviously, this is a favorite of many. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Absolutely love this concealer. It's worth the hype and the price tag. 
gives you such good coverage not too thick that it gets cakey throughout the day they do have a good color selection they're just worth the hype in everything they're so good you need this on your if you can't afford to go out and get the tarte shape tape all the time then a great concealer that i found too in 2017 were these elf hd concealers um fuller coverage not as full as what you'll get with the tarte shape tape the color selection of these does really stink. I think there's about four shades and they jump drastically. So your light will be at least, your, okay. I'll, let me stop talking for a second. So these are the two colors that I have right here. So this one is fair. So I use this on my, my paler days and this one is, this one is light. So there is a jump, probably about two to three shades that you could put in between, but they just don't have. And then there's only two other shades. So that's the only downfall of these, but they give you a great finish. They are lighter coverage, but if you do build them up, you can get pretty good coverage. This is what I'm wearing right now. And I do have dark under eye circles, so these do cover it up pretty well. Um, they give you a more dewy or fresh finish. They don't end up looking cakey at all, which I really look for because under the eyes I do have fine lines and they just don't settle on them they don't they last pretty much all day long if I set it well but great alternative if you can't go out and buy this every single time you need a new one. The two that honestly stood out to me the most are the highly hyped up Laura Mercier powder. I use the one in translucent it's honestly amazing perfect sets it if you set anything with this it literally lasts all day very fine powder looks great doesn't look heavy on the face at all sets under the eyes amazing the powder is so fine it, translucent is more of like um it has like a yellow tint to it so it's really good for brightening i set my whole face with this honestly and i bake with this underneath my eyes but i did run out of that and that has a hefty price tag i think it runs for about 48 dollars so what I got this year on my BoxyCharm was the Studio Makeup HD Finishing Powder. And I know you're looking at me like, that is stark white, that's going to look so bad on your eyes. But I'm telling you, do not be afraid because it actually does not give you any flashback at all. It sets perfectly, it's what I'm wearing today. Um, kind of same finish with the Laura Mercier powder, just that it doesn't have that yellow tint to it so you don't get that brightening effect that I like. So. This is a great alternative. I got this in my BoxyCharm, so honestly, I don't know how much it runs for. It could be a hefty press tag too, but... This is good. Beautiful things right here. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I have about a million different colors of these. These are amazing. They're not chalky. They last all day on your cheeks. Their color selection is amazing. They're just so pretty. Some of my favorite colors are pearlescent pink. This one has more of a gold tint to it, so it gives you a little bit of shimmer in it, but nothing too crazy. This is the color Mellow Wine. It's matte. It's perfect for every single day and every kind of look you have. And honestly, how can you beat the price tag on those? I think they're about $4 each. Honestly, they might even be cheaper than that, but if I... Now let's talk about bronzers. There really wasn't one that stood out to me a lot through 2017. The only thing that stood out to me really was this contour palette. And it's the Highlighting Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. I also got this in my BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, you're doing good. Um, but this is what it looks like. I clearly love that middle shade right there. It is the more bronzy color because these two contour shades have more of that gray tone, which is great for contouring. Then it gives you some highlight shades in here. This is honestly just a great palette if you're a makeup artist or someone that is a lover of makeup and wants selection in it. This is the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics collab. This palette is amazing. This is actually the second palette that she came out with. This one came out in 2017, while her first one came out, I think, in 2016. I have both. So. This is what the first one looks like right over here, the smaller palette, and this is the one that came out this year in 2017. Both palettes share some of the same, the same colors. Honestly, look at the color selection here. It goes for every skin tone, which is amazing. 
Um, this white shade is new and I think this darker shade is the newest one. Um, overall, this palette is just amazing too. If you're looking for a good palette that's not that expensive, here you go. Um, shadows in here are great. I really do like the mattes a little bit more than the shimmers, but if you use the highlights as your shimmer, they're amazing. I'll show you a little swatch of some of these. So here's, it's like really pigmented. I'm really not into that blinding highlight look anymore, but when I do want that look, I grab this palette automatically. You can not make it as blinding if you just go in with a light hand or with your brush a little lightly and just go over your cheekbones very lightly with it, but if you really want to pack a punch and like let everyone know you have highlight on, this is a great palette for it. other two that really stood out to me this year are the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is just like the perfect golden highlight. Those are my favorite colors to wear are the golden colors. Um, they just, I feel like against my skin tone, these ones look the best. Gives you that super wet look to your skin. Great, not chunky at all. And it's not all of these highlights aren't powdery because I really looked for that in a highlight that they're not powdery so it doesn't look like you just have a streak of powder of glitter on your face. I really don't like that look. So these are the ones that I've found that work the best and look the best and in photos and in real life because I've you can take a photo for Instagram and it'll look amazing your highlight if you pack it on but when you go out into real lighting it will be just a glob or like a chunky strip on your face of highlight and I hate that look. The third one I found that was a little amazing too was the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the color Gilded Honey. This was really hyped up I think about a year ago. It's still one of my favorites to wear. Perfect golden color. Super creamy. This one is more of a lighter highlighter so this is more of you build it up to get that really blinding look where the other two is automatic bit like you automatically put it on it's already blinding this is the highlight that i'm wearing today gives you that like really just glow to your skin um i mean it just looks great i got this in my boxy charm and if you don't have a boxy charm or a subscription to boxy charm you need it because it's looking amazing but this is the brow gal by tanya crooks um and i think it's in the color o2 so what it is, is just a little palette of brow powders. I tend to use brow powders because I think they look the most natural. Um, so it comes with a good selection of colors. I change my hair color a lot, so this is great. So I have a selection of different powders to choose from. Right now, I do actually use these two in the tail and this one um, more in the front. But this is honestly a great powder. They work very well. They're, they're really pigment. Um, but not too pigmented where you put it on your brows and you're like, oh God. Um, this is the brow brush I use every single day of my life. I think it's by Bodyography. I've literally worn out the label on it because I use it every single day. Just has a nice angled brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. And I think honestly together these two are just a match made in heaven. My shadow palettes because I do have such a large collection. I just didn't go out and buy any new ones. But in my handy dandy boxy charm did give me some this year. So this is the Pure Soiree Diaries. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is probably one of my most used palettes right now. It is just the perfect neutral palette. This last row is shimmers, the rest is mattes. I really am into only matte looks right now. So these give me a great selection of colors. These are just my kind of colors to wear. They're super neutral. They have those reddish colors that I love to wear. Gives you some nice brow on highlights, gives you some nice deeper tones to put in the outer crease. But overall, this palette was amazing for me this year and was my staple of the year. My, the two mascaras that were my staples and I wear almost every day are these two. This is the Tarte, this is this is the Tarte Tartist mascara. It is a silicone bristle brush. So it looks like this. I'm actually wearing this one right now. I really do love this one a lot. It gives you a lot of length. Um, length more than volume, but makes your lashes look amazing. The one that gives me the most volume, maybe not as much length, is the Ultra Sculpt Volume Mascara by 
by Kiko. This mascara really gives me the volume that I really need and it helps me prep for when I put on the next step, which is lashes. Right for your going out lashes, your everyday lashes, you can definitely find them. I know they run a little heavy. I think they're about $10 a pair, but on Ulta they always have like buy one, get one free, buy one, get one 50% off, and you can always find a deal on these. Some of my favorite lashes are the, this is from the Luxe line. This is the Baroque lashes. The next are the Definition line. These are number 126. These ones are great too. These are the Vlogger series. This is a collab with Nicole Guerrero. These are the Casually Glamorous lashes. I absolutely love these ones. I know she has two other ones. I did try the other ones, which are a little more glam, but these ones are great for going out every day. These are honestly perfect, and I do love Nicole a lot. Finally, let's move on to lips. My number one favorite lipstick of the year was the MAC Lip Intensity in the color Doe. This is the best lipstick ever. It is the perfect everyday color. Looks like this, super highly pigmented. These aren't matte, they're more of a cream finish, so they're really comfortable to wear. Absolutely love this line, and there's about a million different colors to select from. Another lipstick that I absolutely fell in love with too is the, these are the Cap on D lipsticks. These are also in a cream finish. These, this color is in Lovecraft. This one's a little more pink than the one that I just showed you in Doe, but great high pigmentation too. So this one, here I'll give you a better swatch because it's stunk. This one is Lovecraft, and the one below it is Dell. Honestly, another great, great lady, Mario Badescu setting sprays. These aren't meant for makeup setting sprays, they are actually called facial sprays, but I use these for honestly everything in my life. I put them on before my makeup, bare face, with full makeup on. These help so much, they come in three different colors. They have different properties and skincare benefits to each one. This is the biggest bottle you can buy, which is eight fluid ounces, which runs for $12. And these are the four, which I think run for seven. So these are affordable. I put these on before my makeup to give me a little hydration boost or calm my skin down. But I also use them after my makeup because they give me a great, great finish. They give you more of a dewy look instead of um, a matte look. They have skin benefits in them, so they're great on the skin. They help you not look as powdery. They really set down all the powder on your face and just bring your face back to life after you just put on so much makeup. I absolutely love these. My face, this is the order that I like them in the best. This is the first one that I, this is my number one, which is the purple one. Then it goes into the green one and then the original, which is the pink one. The last product I'm gonna talk about is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is another great one for the getting that dewy look at the end of your makeup. It doesn't help really with getting rid of powderiness or making your face look less makeup-y, but it gives you a nice glow to your skin. I think that they have some kind of like like really fine gl like glitter or shimmer in here so it really like gives you a nice little glow but you do have to be wary of this don't spray too much because you will look very oily if you put too much of this on but honestly i love this product in 2017. guys that was my beauty favorites of 2017 i hope you were able to find something that you really liked in 2017 if i didn't show it please comment down below and if you have already some of these favorites then let me know too why you love them um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and like the video it really helped me out and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one